Hello, this is Grant Turnbull from Shepherd Media. We're here at a very busy roundabout at, in Jakarta, Indonesia. Um, joined by Tim Fish, he's the editor of Land Warfare International, also Digital Battle Space. Um, Tim, tell us some of the key considerations for industry as they attend in their defense this year. Um, well, at the moment, Indonesia is looking to spend about 1% 1 1 of its uh, expenditure, uh, government expenditure on defense. Um, that's not a huge amount by, uh, by regional standards. Defence spending overall in Asia has been going up. So um, it remains to be seen whether Indonesia can actually deliver its uh, big programmes on the land, sea and air side with this, this amount of funding. Yeah, those big programmes, one side is, is land and uh, they've got a lot of programmes going on at the minute. Maybe you can expand on, on some of those. Yeah, um, on, the, on the main battle tank side, Indonesia is looking to get some uh, uh, Leopard 2 tanks. They're, going to get, they're getting these from Rheinmetall along with some Marder APCs. Um, if this program goes through, it will make the Indonesian land forces what some of the most modern in the whole of Asia. Um, but they're also looking to get some uh, wheeled vehicles. There's a 6x6 six six Badak vehicle that they're looking to get. They're spending 36 million to buy uh, about 50 of these, and there are rumours that there may be some more of those uh, coming. So it'll be interesting to see at the show uh, where that's heading. Yeah, so as, as with most countries, in the Asia Pacific region, the naval side's also very important. Uh, that's no different for Indonesia as well. They've got some key programs in, in this space, so maybe you can uh, tell us more about those. Yeah, the Indonesian Navy is going through a uh, remodernization program. They're getting two uh, new frigates from Damage Shipbuilding uh, Company. Um, they're the Sigma Class 105.14. Um, so those could be delivered over the next few years. In addition to that, they're upgrading one of their older corvettes. Uh, companies such as Navanti and Indra are partnering to provide the electronic systems outfit for that ship. The most interesting program is the procurement of three Changbogo class submarines from South Korea. Um, they bought it, they're buying them for $1.1 billion and the first two are going to be built in South Korea and the third one's going to be built here by uh, PT PAL, the, shipbuilding, the local shipbuilding company. Um, so that will provide a really significant submarine capability in, in Southeast Asia and they want, eventually want 12 submarines which is quite a lot. Lastly, we can't forget the Air domain, that's also an area that Indonesia is active in. They're wanting uh, replacement fighters as well, things like that. Yeah, the uh, Indonesian Air Force wants to replace this uh, Northrop Grumman F-5 fighter jet. Uh, they bought that back in the 1980s, so it's, um, so it's well, in, well, well due for, uh, for an update. Uh, there are four contenders for this program. Uh, you've got the, the Saab with its uh, Gripen CD, uh, Eurofighter Typhoon. They can always get some more uh, F-16s from Lockheed Martin, but the favorite at the moment seems to be the SU-35 from uh, Sukhoi. Thank you, Tim. Well, a lot of interesting developments promised for this week. Uh, make sure to check out the website where we'll have uh, stories from Tim and the rest of our team, also video content as well. So we'll see you in the week.